Hello, welcome to the Bakwas channel for self-paced tutorials. This video introduces TensorFlow Lite Micro using Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense board as a simple exercise. Other hardware platforms will be demonstrated in the future. There are two key objectives for this demonstration. First, conduct the traditional Hello World exercise to ensure that all libraries for TensorFlow Lite are operational. Second, illustrate simple machine learning exercise using a basic trigonometric function generated in code rather than data acquisition from a sensor and the use of the onboard LED for feedback in lieu of a traditional display for results. The current video is limited to the Arduino. The Pico will be demonstrated in a later video. Please note that the focus of this series of tutorials is to use TinyML in embedded microcontrollers. There are distinct limitations as well as advantages with this approach. The key limitation is that the training of the model has to be performed external to the microcontroller. The advantage is that the microcontroller is not resource hungry and thereby lends to economic as well as operational advantages. The Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense board has a rich set of sensors. The LSM9 DS1 is for IMU or inertial measurement unit to track motion orientation and vibration changes. The HTS-221 is for humidity and temperature measurements. The LPS-22HB is for barometric pressure. The MP34DTO5 is the microphone and the APD-9960 is for gesture, proximity, and light measurements. The microcontroller is NRF52840. It has a clock speed of 64 megahertz with one megabyte flash and 256k kilobyte static memory. It operates at 3.3 volts DC. There are 14 digital input output pins with PWM support. There is one pin each for UART, SP1 and I2C which are industry standard communication protocols. There are eight analog pins. All digital pins can be used for external interrupts. There is no EE prom the nominal DC current per input output pin is 15 milliamps and finally the input voltage limit is 21 volts. There are three steps to conducting this exercise. First, install the prerequisite libraries for the board and TensorFlow Lite. Second, Compile the standard Hello World example that is accessible after the installation of the TensorFlow Lite library. Since no changes should have been made to this example after the download, the compilation as a sanity check should complete without errors. This second step is purely optional. Finally, the third step is to upload the code to the board where it will start running without further intervention once the upload is complete. There are two sets of libraries that need to be installed. First, board specific. Second, 
tensor flow light related. These steps will be demonstrated at the end of this slide. Let's take a look at installing the libraries from the Arduino IDE. Launch the Arduino IDE from your application taskbar and go to the menu bar, click on sketch and then click on include library and then manage libraries from the cascade menu. Enter the search criteria for the libraries which is TensorFlow Lite Micro from Arduino. The library will be displayed. Make sure that you use the latest version. In this present example, of course, the library has already been installed, but there would be an install button for the latest version. From the menu bar, click Tools and then click on Board in the drop down menu. Select in the Boards Manager page, type in Nano 33 BLE Sense. And then when the board library is displayed, go ahead and install it. Start by loading the example, by clicking on File, Examples, and then looking for the for the sketch called TensorFlow Lite Hello World. Once that has been loaded, go to the toolbar, click on Sketch, and then the first entry, com Verify Compile. Click that, and you will notice that the toolbar now has an amber checkbox. When the compilation is complete, the amber light will be turned off and there will be a message in the output window stating that the compilation is com done. So let's wait for that process to complete and in the meantime stay alert for all the messages that appear in the output window if you are running this for the first time. So now we can see that the compilation is done and the checkbox is now back to the normal state. To transfer the code from the development machine to the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense board, navigate along the following path. From the menu bar, click Tools, then Board, then select Arduino Embed OS Boards and choose Nano 33 BLE Sense. Then go back to the Tools menu bar and select Port from the drop down menu and then select the port corresponding to the entry for Nano BLE Sense option. Finally, go back to the menu bar again click sketch and then upload from the down, drop down menu. Before the sketch can be uploaded to the board, we need to ensure once again that the correct board has been selected and the appropriate board. Go to tools, select board and then under board choose SAMD ARM Cortex boards and you will see an entry for Arduino Nano 33 BLE. Then go back to Tools again 
and select port and choose the corresponding port that identifies the Nano 33 BLE. Once that's complete, go ahead and go back to Sketch and click on Upload. The code will now be transferred to the board, but before that can happen, the compilation is repeated. If you remember, in the previous step, we had mentioned that the compilation step was unnecessary as a standalone exercise for this demonstration. This is because we have not modified the code and we assume that the code is still correct, which obviously it is since it's a standard example. And once it compiles, then the upload will begin. Notice the toolbar menu button is now lit to indicate that the upload is in operation. It will stay amber until the upload is complete. Once the upload is complete, we will open the serial monitor in a subsequent step. Once the upload is complete, the code runs immediately without further manual intervention. The onboard LED will flicker during the upload process. There are two sections to the code, the setup and the loop. The setup section runs first and runs only once. The loop section, as the name implies, runs indefinitely. Notice that for this demonstration, the onboard LED will fade in and out depending on the applied function, which is a sine wave in this demonstration. Once the code starts running, go to the toolbar and select Tools and open the Serial Monitor. You will see a series of numbers scrolling by on the screen which represent the output of the analysis. You may want to close the serial monitor and look at it from a plotter perspective by opening the serial plotter window again from the menu bar under tools. Since we are using a sine wave as a function, the output will also represent a stepped sine function. This concludes the demonstration of the Hello World exercise and in subsequent videos we will cover more topics The fading in and out of the onboard LED is also visible through digital output on the serial port. If the serial monitor is displayed, close this window and then launch the serial plotter window. Notice how the fading of the onboard LED matches the plot in this serial plotter window. This video was made possible through the detailed documentation provided by Arduino and Pete Warden's videos. That's all folks. Thanks for viewing. Until the next video, cheers.